video number four, and hopefully that's all we need to finish this out, of a four-part series of uh, this inverter here, Accurate Tools Power Inverter 1000 Watts, true sine wave, pure sine wave, and this inverter, which is a work zone uh, 1200 watt by peak. Now, both of these weigh the same. Uh, once removing these little plastic covers, there's two little plastic covers, as you'll see in the previous videos, that are on the ends. Now, be careful if you're going to remove these because each one of these has different length screws. These screws being in the base of the plastic cover, these screws being up higher in the plastic cover. So you see the two shorter screws and longer screws there. Okay, now, in the face, You'll have two screws down here at the bottom. They're part of this cluster and two of the same ones at the top. <clears throat> to remove your cover on one of these inverters, you're gonna pull down your electrical outlets out of the way. And this is designed to have these little slides, these little slides on all four points for the mounting plate and bottom cover. And it slides in this spot right here. you see the little, tracks right there it slides into those tracks and it'll slide all the way down make sure you take something like a test light and and pull all the voltage that remains in this unit out so that you don't get hit by one of these capacitors in here and <laughs> burned pretty bad so this is the internal components of the peak the peak has a very beautiful cooling system in it it is right here in front of the fan um, it has a direct to body and it also has additional cooling vents that allow full airflow to get past these MOSFETs, these, these high-powered MOSFETs down here where your voltage will come off of, and your stepping and staging MOSFETs down here. It's got a very beautiful cooling system that has nice spacing. It also has ventilation through the bottom. Very good design. This is a very good designed inverter. That might be why they last so long. So, this one has a 200 volt a 200 volt capacitor in it, not a 160. That's why they don't blow up. I've never had a capacitor fail in one of these. A lot of these other inverters, it will. It has a standard driver circuitry, pretty basic, not high high dollar. However, it is the same driver circuitry that you will find in a Samlex, which is pretty good quality inverter. So this one here being what it is, it has two main drivers. It has multiple MOSFETs that are isolated onto this heat sink and has good cooling. So as far as a ranking for a modified sine wave, I would put the peak inside of that ranking of a nine, simply because I have beat these bad and they are durable. The peaks do come with their own cables and yes, they're copper clad aluminum. However, the it, it is 63% uh, according to the material list that's on this. So that leaves it being 37% real copper. This one over here has copper clad aluminum also, but they send no information with it. And these are actually a smaller gauge than what the peak is supplying, which is a much larger gauge, Chinese millimeter gauging. So this one is six AWG and it is six gauge. And this one over here is claimed as 6AWG, but in measurements, it's not. So, better inverter as far as quality of voltage, better inverter as, quality, as far as durability. Which do you want? This has a very unique sine wave that actually will not cause motors to get too hot, so it runs a refrigerator very well. This one here is not as efficient as they claim. However, it runs a refrigerator uh, compressors very cool. So you have to make a decision. True sine wave or pure sine wave versus modified sine wave. Now, this model here has very good components using ceramic resistors in it. It has very good components as far as its metering system and it has decent wiring and it doesn't give you fake grounding anywhere so that's a good item the second thing is is the peak comes with this device it's a 15 foot 15 amp cord okay that has outlets on it you see and it has usb and it has a remote switch so you can install the peak back in the behind the seat of your truck as long as it's not gonna to be too hot back there. 
and as long as it gets good circulation and you can actually mount this in your dash now what that allow you to do is that allow you to run most things that don't require true sine wave from your dash now what i do is i put one in my truck that's the 2000 watt version that came with one of these and i run an electric chainsaw out on my property i run weed eaters and they seem to run just fine off of a peak i don't know if they'll run fine off of this but they do run perfectly fine off of a peak. Luckily, this item here, luckily this item here is an affordable, easy inverter to buy. You can get them on bids, you can buy them direct. I think they're worth every bit of $100. This one here I got for about 40 bucks delivered to my house. You can get them, they're still worth every dime of $100. So it's up to you and there's your choice. This is a quality inverter very good structure very solid mount of all the parts has a very good quality fan there's no float in the fan like there is in that one over there and it is does not make noise and is also load driven so uh, it doesn't run your battery down the draw lo, no current draw or no load draw on this inverter is more efficient than this inverter however this inverter is a little more efficient on its uh, use of power than this inverter so there gives your little bit confusing decision that you might make but my decision was to have one of these and one of these and i'll put you a link where i found them this is not a refurbished one it's brand new this is not a refurbished one it's brand new do not buy refurbished inverters they had a problem they replaced the fuses see this one has big fuses in it they replaced the fuses and they sent it back out and you're going to be the next guy that finds out it don't work right but get a new one you got a warranty the refurbished ones you fight like hell to get them to do anything about it but there's your peak it's a good inverter and there's your accurate tools it's a decent inverter hope that helps you guys out this is the best thing that i have found for buying these type of inverters and they work and like i said before these also sold as a harbor freight item for more money <laughs> which is ridiculous to buy it from Harbor Freight for more money. But if you have a Harbor Freight in your town and you buy this inverter, which is looks identical, okay, then it is the same inverter, then you do have the ability to get a warranty on it at Harbor Freight and bring it back. That's an option. But I think you'll like these. That's your inverter reviews. Sorry it took four videos, but if you want the real information and see them in action, that's what it takes. All right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs>